Right, so we have a survey to participate in. Uh, sure. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Um, would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I don't know. Actually. Um, maybe? Yeah, but it, it will never be the same, though, will it? Um, I don't know. Uh, mm, I don't know. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Um, yes. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Well, I'm assuming they mean that you have power and all that good stuff. So, pen and paper. I mean, your paper's going to run out eventually, surely. Cell phone be kind of useless. Um, it would have to be a fucking long book. Let's say a console and some games, I guess. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? <sighs> yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? Ooh. Androids, flying cars. Um, all of them, really. Androids are pretty badass. Flying cars would be the shit. Space tourism would be cool. Brain-connected devices. Hmm. I like the idea of brain-connected devices. But I think we're a few years off that yet. You know what? Flying cars, man. Yes. My own flying metal machine. I like that. Do you believe in Nope. That? Would you let an android take care of your children? <laughs> yeah, why not? How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic uh -oh. device? Um, on a work day, probably, probably like two hours. I know, it's got to be like four hours a day, really, because uh, during my breaks, I'm always on my phone or my PlayStation Vita. Um... And then when I get home, I usually do my editing and, and, and watch. Yeah, four hours a day, easy. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Fucking right. Do me up, laddie. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? <sighs> I find it hard to believe that they will ever um, achieve actual intelligence. Um, but I certainly wouldn't rule it out because there's a lot of things that go into the conscious mind it's not just the ability to think it is so much more than that um, but yeah I wouldn't rule it out so the world's answers yes Okay, so the most popular one was yes by 65%. Do you think the technology become Yeah, seems to be the popular answer by 72%. If you had to live on an instrument, actually, um, was the top choice, which is actually quite impressive. I like that. Uh, a cell phone was 22%. Hmm. Do you consider yourself? Yes, seventy-eight percent of us are dependent on technology. Um, yeah, that's kind of sad when you think about it. I, I, I am myself. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, 
But that's just the era we live in, you know? That's just the way it's going. And it's only going to get worse from here on out. Or better, depending on how you look at it. I think it gets, it's going to get better. Wow, Androids with 36% and brain-connected devices. Flying cars are already kind of a reality. We have the technology. It's just very expensive and complicated with, uh, you know... Licenses, oh man, it will be a nightmare. A lot of people saying yes to that. Thou shall not judge. No. Would you let an Android take... Yeah, 50% of people would say yes. I think it would be fine if they're like this. Yeah, four hours, I would say, is probably probably my average. I mean, if I'm not at work, then yeah. Yeah, I easily spend all day. If you need emergency surgery, would you be offering? Yeah, I can't see the problem. A machine's got less chance to uh, make an error than a human. Of course, machines can still make errors. Do you think one day... Yeah, I don't know. That's a bit of a grey area. It's hard to say. Very hard to say. I think if uh, a machine ever developed some kind of conscious mind, I would say it'd probably be game over for mankind. Uh, mm, I don't know. Interesting stuff. Let's con... I'm glad to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant day. Mm -hmm. Would you like to continue your story? Well, it's it's been a day. Um, I don't know about a good day, but it's certainly been a day. I didn't die, so, you know, that's a positive. Let's continue. Is it a positive? Maybe. Now, where were we? We were Marcus, I believe. In a garden. If I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I probably do. Were we Marcus, though? Or were we someone else? Oh. No, we weren't Marcus. Find Amanda. Oh, yeah, we were just playing as Marcus, weren't we? We had to put ourselves back together. I remember. I can't remember this guy's name, actually. Uh, in the Zen Garden. Hank is neutral. Amanda is trusted. Public opinion is skeptical. Okay, so we these are all the things that we can improve. And I really can't remember this guy. I can't remember what he's called. He's like the main the main character. Which is kind of annoying, actually. Because I know you've got Marcus and... Who's the girl called? Oh. I can't remember. Kara. I can never remember this dude's name. Graphics are fantastic. Actually reminds me of uh, Fantasy Star Online. Right. Let's have a little wonder about... Can we fiddle with anything? This is fantastic, though. I'd love to have a garden like this. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the meditation you could get going? I'd be so peaceful. Feeling the soles of your feet connecting with the ground. The wind in your hair. The breeze. The breeze on your hands. Oh. Can you imagine what this place smells like? I bet it smells fantastic. Hi there, Chief. Are you Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Connor. Connor, nice there we go. You. Finding that deviant was far from easy. 
You showed great skill in your investigation. Hmm. But you knew deviants could be unstable. Ooh. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. Damn it. We really should have completed the that. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Um, traumatized, I would say. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's certainly intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. So, what do you think is the best approach? Who are we working for? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest Oops. of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. Yes. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever Ooh. created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little. She is not very happy with us. But we are um, screwing our programming. We are becoming unstable. Um, hello. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Oh, she's an android too. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Ooh. You might be in shock. Just Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Yeah. A Russian carrier and an American Would patrol boat reported water, to please? have clashed last night. Ooh. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. Things are hotting up. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Ooh. Could be going into World War Three. Hmm, intriguing. Well, better field some androids. Are you human or are you an android? I guess we don't care. What have we got here? Joint Chiefs of Staff. Highly decorated personnel. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about that. Can we talk to her again? No, we cannot. Alright, well that's advanced. Tell her what happened. My android went crazy. Start arguing with the toaster. Don't really want to talk to Miller. <coughs> oh, wow. Androids. Android unit. Oh, Android Cops. He's a PC-200, so he's quite an old unit. Commissioned January 2035. PM-700, so she's a much more advanced unit, I guess. Two years newer. Older unit.
Another new unit. These things must cost some serious money. They probably get some kind of... Ooh, hello. So they just stay here on charge? That's another 700. Wilson... Actually, if we do this... Anderson should be over here. I think that's everything like we can interact with. Reed. We don't want Reed. Who's that? Brown. Where are you, Mr. Anderson? Oh, that's got to be it. Nope, that's Peterson. That's no good. Where's Mr. Anderson? There we go. Kind of don't really want to move it on this quickly, though. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. If we're lucky. Thanks. So we can. W oh, I don't want to sit down. I want to continue exploring. God damn it. Yes, let's explore. Go see the Deviant. Exact. Right, we got a lot of things to do here. Progress. Okay, so that's the progress. Well, let's learn about Anderson. See what he listens to. Knights of the Black Death. Dark, heavy metal. Good man. I'm a fan. I'm surprised he's got a little personal MP3 player, though. Clues to find. Eight. Uh, he likes donuts. Shock. Calories. 152 calories. It's actually not bad for a donut. Probably futuristic healthy donuts. How is my driving? <laughs> Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. What does that say? We don't bleed the same colour. If I wanted to be ignored, I'd talk to my ex-wife. If you're not a bartender, then go away. No more androids. So, he's not a fan of androids, I'm going to say. Not sure what gives me that idea. So, he likes Detroit basketball. He's a fan of the team. Matches from Jimmy's Bar. Hairs. Canine hairs. St. Bernard Dog. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, we know the matches. Oh, there's something there. Red Ice Task Force. Red Ice is that drug. Multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network Dismantle of 2028. Real police. Good call. Nice. Something. Hmm. So, Detroit police dismantle a network of Red Ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city. The uh, city's growing red ice epidemic, with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of half a million dollars. Detective Hank Anderson, a young 
but hugely talented detective is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DAs described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. That's interesting. So he used to be a really good cop. Or oh, detective. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit... Uh, police force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated uh, detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile high arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being uh, tipped as a future commissioner. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. So he's a bit of a badass then. He's a decorated officer. Hang on, I want to keep going. Ah, oh, shit, we're in It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Let's keep exploring. Can we get some more things? Two more things to find. So, what are we not seeing here then? Oh, we can look right over here. Ah, what's that? Japanese maple. Cool. Oh, we've already looked at the donuts and the coffee cup. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. Well, I should certainly hope there's traces of caffeine in there. I'd be very disappointed if there wasn't. He certainly was a decorated officer. Seems like he was a de desiccated. Desiccated? Yeah, I was hoping he wasn't desiccated. A decorated officer. of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night this isn't just cyber life's problem anymore it's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan i want you to investigate these cases and see if they oh there's a link why me why do i gotta be the one to deal with this shit i am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case i know jack shit about androids jeffrey i can barely change the settings on my own really phone. everybody's overloaded I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic. Not very nice. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend mm -hmm. like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary <laughs> folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ. Why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, we grow to love each other, buddy. Don't you worry about it. You and me are going to be best buddies. Who are you? Oh, you're Peterson. Progress the case. Have we completed exploring the office? I guess so. Go see the Deviant. Alright. Meeting room. Alright, lads. What's going on? Well, they look like androids if I've ever seen them. So. Connor here is the most advanced android that has ever walked the earth. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Fuck, 
Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very Fuck impressive. Off. Could have uh, got somebody out of the android if you hadn't fucked it up. Introduce. Hello. My name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? Answer? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. Mm. So machines are gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Fuck you, buddy. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. I'm not programmed that way. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. Mm -hmm. For disobeying a human. I actually like this Connor guy. He's cool. Life has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer mm, our questions. Funny that. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian <laughs> sheep has shot to the top mm. of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Designed by CyberLife, the AI known as Volte analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the plot of the novel. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artificial intelligence. That sh rather shit. But stuff like that's gonna happen. I don't you'll never get rid of human authors though. No way. Or human musicians. Or anything like that. At least it's hard to imagine. But who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen in the future? I don't think they're gonna have the soul though. I think there'll always be something fundamentally missing. At least I'd like to think so. Alright, there's where the Deviant is, most likely. So can we go down this corridor? Yeah, it looks like the toilets are... Uh, not gender exclusive. Connor, you're... Your tie is fine, mate. Alright? Your tie is absolutely fine. I guess there's nothing we can actually do in here. No matter, let's go. Alright, let's go find our deviant. That's definitely not ours. What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. They're going to destroy me. Probably. Compassionate. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to die. Uh, 
It is kind of unfortunate, my friend, but uh, you probably shouldn't have gone all psycho. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Suicide. Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. I think we made things worse again. We probably Probably should have been a little bit more compassionate to the fellow. But you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. He's fine. Well. Okay, we're fine. Anderson's fine. Uh, Anderson's not fine either. Fuck it. Never mind. Uh, let's be... Can Oh, there's something we can't do because we haven't found out about him yet. Hmm. What's over there? Or is that him? That's him. But there's got to be more. Well, let's just talk to him. Let's be constructive. Can we, like, get round the corner? Uh, no, keep forwards. Connor, forwards. Forwards. Okay, I don't... Okay, there must be some invisible barrier around this guy. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Mm -hmm. Positive. In any case... I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Take a look. Um, desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Well, that will work. Analyze the deviant's files. So do we need a computer? Look, can we just sit down? The controls are fucking annoying. There we go. Now, can we... <sighs> so... Dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Uh, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Um... Let's go for music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. Hmm. Okay, well, we could go for the anti-androids, but... I'm not sure... I don't know if he's going to like this. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Mm. Yeah. Go on. There is one. This would be good. Yeah, so there's two positives and one negative. Okay, so Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? He's not gonna like that. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Could have, could have gone better. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Okay. The terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Well, I think Mr. Connor is being as. 
diplomatic as he can be. He's trying. He's trying a little bit too hard, I think. So, AL series. Case open. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual. When he went to work, when he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in at the department. The Android may have left home without being ordered to. I like how clean this place is. It's very futuristic. It's cool. Suspect. The plaintiff claims to be attacked by a AV500 model android working as a waiter in the fast cooney dogs restaurant chain situated at uh, blah 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 the plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene the android remains at large suspect the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android an ap700 the android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight Bloody hell. The plaintiff, uh, the manager of the Eden Club, reported an unexplained disappearance of a sex android, model WR400. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. I reckon he's probably using her for reasons. Famous uh, painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. Yep, that's Marcus. The latter witness um, witnesses' statement uh, attests the android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh, so Marcus is also a prototype. Ah. And there's Kara. The plaintiff claims that he was violently attacked by his domestic android. An AX400. The android had just returned from being repaired at the previous day and shown signs of aggression in a, the past. Hmm. <coughs> Sounds like a load of bullshit. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Alright. Professional understanding. Let's be direct. He seems to like that. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, oh, asshole. That was not if good. It was up to me. I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb mm. you. I have some information on the AX4. We really need Captain to start Gattis getting him on our side. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Straighten your tie, buddy. Hmm. We're not doing very well with this guy. Ugh. So, know your partner. Yeah, we don't really know our partner very well, though, um, unfortunately. I'm kind of curious. If we go back, can we play each chapter individually? I'm going to assume so. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we missed in the station as well, which kind of sucks. We're going to have to be more understanding towards Frank, I think. Or Hank, I should say. Come 
cut hair and change clothes. Right, come on, Alice. Let's get some new clothes and cut our hair. the area. Check the neighborhood. Okay. Ooh, what have we got? Death to androids. Oh, shit. Huh. She's actually freaking out. She has thoughts and feelings. That's interesting. I guess she's not supposed to. Need a tool to force the trunk. So, it doesn't appear that these androids have, like, superhuman strength or anything. They seem to be fairly fragile. Which, to be fair, is probably wise. You wouldn't want them to be super strong. Detroit Today, Cyber Wildlife. The first android zoo opens. U.S. life expectancy now at 91. 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth. Well, that's got worse, because at the moment it's, uh, I believe... Hey, Pixel! Uh, I believe at the moment it's 1% holds like 95% of the world's wealth or something. How's your day been? I saw some of your Gears of War stream the other day. Kind of, you stopped streaming as I, after about 5 minutes that I jumped on. Uh, Cyber Wildlife. The first Android Zoo opens. Cyber Life is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species uh, to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Uh, Luke turtles, polar bears, no! Mountain gorillas, what? African elephants and several species of tiger will be amongst the most ho uh, high profile attractions. Damn it! All those cool animals. I thought he was on twice with it, because I thought I was watching a archive, but it wasn't. It was actually live. It's like, oh, cool. Um, how far have you got in this game now? Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Daniel uh, said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission. Um... To educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Yes, we are the caretakers of the planet. And we should act like it. Though some environmentalists have claimed that the zoo will diminish popular concerns for the extinction of real animals. Yeah, I can see that. It's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be... Uh, unveiled, but Cyberlife promises that they will be more real than the real thing. Well, that's impossible. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. Hmm. I admit, I've got a load of stuff covering. Yeah. God damn it. So much stuff covering my chat window. Ugh. Go away. No, I don't want emojis. There we go. Have an emoji. Nope. Good. Damn it. There we go. Ah, it was for the surprise. Yes, uh, I'm really enjoying the uh, the game so far. The story is so good. Especially that little Terminator bit where you're going around the scrapyard and uh, you've got to like put yourself back together. That was cool. Uh, as Marcus. And that was a really good scene actually with Marcus. Uh, and his son. Fantastic stuff. So what's happening in Canada? Canada still Android an Android free zone. Hmm. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape. Discover the wild. Discover Canada. I wouldn't mind to visit Canada one day actually. That could be cool. Uh, despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again push back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country. As a result, androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. 
probably wise. Uh, with Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the US economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments uh, against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Yeah, the, drops, the job situation is kind of bad. Like, 37% unemployment is really bad. And that looks like something we need. Oh, cool. That does sound cool. Um, yeah, I'm guessing I've, I've already played a few bits where you can potentially die. Um, so far, I haven't. But there's only three characters so far, isn't there? You've got Marcus, Kara. Hey, that's the hair she has in the in the demo. And who's the other character? Connor. Connor's really cool. I like Connor. Um, accessing right, so we can change our hair. Black man, of course. Or we can have brown. Let's try brown. It doesn't look very brown. What about blonde? Not very blonde. That looks more brown. Yeah, brown's her original. Let's have a look at white. Hmm. Shame you can't have like blue or anything, but then that would uh, draw attention. Let's go with black. I do like my black hair. That's cool. Let's finish. Yeah, I've seen your first two videos now. Ah, oh, she's going to remove her... Like, hard drive indicator thingy. Kind of interesting that it's that easy to do. All you've got to do. And, and now... Yeah, remove the LED. And now, all we need is new clothes and no one will know we're an android. That was kind of easy. Check neighborhood. Need tools, force trunk, and find new clothes. So what have we got here? A crowbar. Well, that kind of will do it. Yeah, I like the LEDs. They're cool. Alright, let's go jimmy this trunk open and see what happens. There we go. I notice the androids don't have super strength. I think that's quite interesting. They seem roughly as strong as a normal human. And they seem fairly fragile as well. Which is interesting. I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like the hard drive activity indicator. It's pretty cool. Alice is still sleeping away. Hey, now we look like a people. Right, probably a good time to wake old Alice up. Or, I guess we're going to go and explore. Because we don't need sleep. Can you imagine not needing sleep? Oh, wouldn't that be bliss? Although I do like sleep. Hmm. Police are patrolling the area. That's not fantastic. Cloud. Seriously? My cat's come to say hello. Oh. There she is. What are you squeaking for, Cloud? You keep knocking my surround sound speakers down, don't you? Why you do this? And now you're being a pain. Right. Um, okay, so... Can we go out there? We can't go out there, unless we have to sneak out somewhere. No, 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 you missed on Sammy. I love sleep. There's nothing I love more after a long hard day than than going well jumping into bed it is amazing but uh oh dude imagine if we didn't need to man we get so much more stuff done okay so there's not much going on out there there's that's where the dead android is um do a cloud cam yeah let's see if she's uh See how grumpy she is. She usually doesn't mind being picked up and played with. She's quite ragdolly. But then other times she gets really grumpy, don't you, Cloud? You're not so grumpy right now. Where's the other one? 
I think the other one's outside. Um, hmm, okay. Yeah. What? Oh, I was going to say, I, no, no, I was going to ask you, but don't tell me, because I watch your videos. Did you manage to, oh, I, I've got, I have to ask you, I'm so curious. Did you manage to get into the hotel? Escape the dis, oh, we got to wake up Alice. Oh, I tried to do that. Oh, you got into the hotel. I got busted. Oh. I actually cannot wait to replay this game. Also, Hank doesn't really like me very much. I keep pissing him off, which is kind of annoying. Because I want Hank and Connor to get on and become like a really cool team. But he, <clears throat> he, um, uh, he, he doesn't like me. Let's wake up Alice. Alice. This is easily one of the best games I've played in a long, long time. So it wasn't an egg. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. Oh, man. What are we going to do now? Hmm. That android we saw yesterday... He gave me an address. He said we could get help oh, there. Oh, he did. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Yeah, I got rumbled because I tried to um, I tried to get out a chocolate bar, and we got thrown out of the uh, convenience store. Game of twenty eighteen. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Really yeah, like I think it's got a damn good shot at it. It's certainly one of the best games that I've played for years. And I cannot wait to start it again. The police are on our trail. Right. Heavy so Rain is the free game. Pretty good. You got the chocolate bar? Got officers sweeping oh, the neighborhood. That's interesting. Go wrong. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. Hank. What are you going to do with that? No Connor's idea. just standing there like a tool. Uh, Hank's now neutral, I guess. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Ah, that explains it. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. I'm hoping, um... Oh, okay. Okay. Reach the train station. I like. I love how interconnected the stories are as well. It's really cool. Ooh, danger level. Sneak past the cops. What? Oh, crap. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold R2 to see threats and your destination. So that's where we're going. It's only 140 meters away. That's not too bad. And we're being pushed forwards by those guys. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we can... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, L1 as well. There we go. Ah, bollocks. Nope, nope, that's fine. That's fine. It's red, but we can still go across. That's cool. Um. R2 is helpful, yeah. Okay. 0% danger level. Um. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Okay. We're being rumbled by him. Damn. They're behind us as well. Uh, I 
don't know what colour that is. We can... No, we can't walk across. Hide R1, R1. Oh, hey, we've been... Wait a we've been rumbled. Shit. We saw them headed for the train station. Damn it, Connor's on the case. No way! Now we're playing as Connor. Dude, that's so cool. Right, just sod it. Charge. Charge. I don't know if I want to let him go or be a badass cop. Is it me, right? Okay. Does Connor remind you of the T-1000 from Terminator 2? They're over there. Go, 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 go. Can't remember what the actor was called. Yes, I yes, totally, right? Don't shoot, we need it alive. I was just expecting him to melt into a pile of goo. Calm down. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, hell. No. Us. Damn it. Move. Oh, God. That's fine. That's fine. Situation is under control. How did I fail that? No way. Okay, that wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth, but we did it. No, 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 no. We're going to be fine. Um, Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Okay, let's get Hank's trust. Let's let those guys go. Right, up. X. What? But we completed it and she still got run over. No. Come on, move. It's fine, we've got this. We've got this. Ah, we have intel inside. See you later, Connor. Are you okay? Yeah, quick time. I actually... I don't mind quick time events. I think they're pretty cool the way they're handled in this. That bit was pretty intense, I'm not going to lie. I actually really like the characters in this game. They do a fantastic job of fleshing them out. And they're all really interesting and distinctive as well. <gasps> On the run. Only 27% completed. No way. I suppose there's a lot of serious arcs with this one. You're right, Cloud. He's spazzing out in the corner. Um, so what could we have done here? Quite a bloody lot by the look of things. This is going to be a fun one to replay, I think. Let's have a look at the world stats. Wow, look at this. This is huge. I'm guessing this is a level where we can die. Yeah, uh, I actually said that earlier when I started streaming today. Um, the bit in the police station when you're trying to walk around and examine everything, the controls just... Oh, mate. They're so frustrating at times. And certain commands activate even though you haven't pushed the button. And, and, and the way Connor moves around certain parts of the environment is really, really confusing. Yeah. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Right. Let's continue. We're going to have to call it here anyway. Let's see the next bit. Police with a prototype detective android. Although police assisted androids have other places to stay, yeah. I should have concentrated a bit more on that bit, really. Hmm. So Marcus is back, and he's probably angry. Although it did mention that he's some kind of prototype. This place will be free. Follow 
Find Jericho. Mm, I remember that. Check symbol. I am going to be making an LP of this as well. I'm going to stream it and get kind of used to it and then rerun it as, a, as an LP. Look for the graffiti. Right, anyway, I am going to leave it there because we're 20 past 9 and I have to be up at 4. But uh, what am I doing tomorrow? Oh, Nat, what are you doing tomorrow? I was going to say, are you free tomorrow night? Because potentially, we're, well, hopefully, we're going to jump on Player Unknown. Not sure yet. Okay. Well, let me know. Uh, if you're available, we're, we'll have some multiplayer shooty fun. So, thanks for coming anyway, and I'll catch you soon.